Today I'm going to show you how to divide pipes into optimal lengths. In one of the previous tutorials, I showed you how to find pipes longer than available using WAV and Validation View. They can also be found using the pipe schedules as they don't have article descriptions or article numbers. Unfortunately, Revit cannot automatically restrict the length of a drawn pipe, so you have to manually split the pipe after it is drawn. In Wathen's AS system, the maximum available pipe length is 3 metres. Let's divide a 10 metre pipe into sections no longer than 3 metres. It's easiest to make the splits in a 2D floor plan. Type in the shortcut SL to access the Split Element tool. You'll notice that while hovering over the pipe, a dimension is visible to tell you how long the pipe section is going to be. This allows you to quickly place the splits. The second way is even more precise. Start by placing the splits anywhere on the pipe, then create an aligned dimension between the fittings. Attach the dimension to the reference points of the couplers, right where the pipe ends. You may need to use the tab key to select the desired point. If you attach the dimension to the pipes instead of the fittings, this solution will not work. Now select the coupler that you wish to move and click on the dimension. Now you can edit it. Type in 3000, which is the maximum pipe length in millimetres. The coupler will move and the pipe length is exactly 3 metres. If properly done, this method can quickly place a whole sequence of couplers on a long piece of pipe. Thank you for watching. Make sure you watch the rest of the Wavin Tips and Tricks videos.